In this video we are going to be implementing form states. Form states allow us to conditionally show form fields. We are going to be using an already created module. We are going to create a boolean field that we are going to use as a state. We are going to implement hook form author and we are going to implement there the states logic. So here we have a Drupal instance installed and we have in our content types a content type called article and we have a body. So we're going to create a new field that is going to be a boolean field and we're going to call with body. So let's say it would be by default not shown so let's say by default it would be not checked and if we check it we would show the body field and if we not check it the body field would be hidden that's our objective let's move it before the body field in the node form so let's say with body and let's make them next to each other. So pretty much when we go to content, create content article, we see that we have with body and we're going to make it initially hidden. And if we click it, it will show. That's perfect. So. As I told you, we already have a created module that is called example form. So under modules custom example form, it's called, and it pretty much has just a YAML file and a module file, and it is also already activated. So. If we search for example, we see that it's already activated. That's cool. So we're going to implement in our example form, we're going to implement hook form author. So here is the hook form author documentation from Drupal.org. And I usually like to copy this bit and just paste it in our dot module file that's cool and instead of hook we're going to paste the name of our module so i'll just copy it from there and i'll just paste it here here it's a bit confusing because we have form twice but in our case form is once part of the module name so here we just do it like this and we say implementing hook form author. That's cool. And we already have it. And here we have also kint enabled. So the devel module and kint downloaded and enabled. So I'm going to simply use just kint here and I'm going to show the form ID so like this and if we go to the node create article page and if we clear the cache with the vel we're going to see the output of the kint and we see that the name of the form the id is node article form so we're going to say if like so id form id or it's nicer in array so we see here it's needle and array so we say in array and because we're going to need the so 
we're going to need it also for the node add and node edit form so here we have the node add form and it would work like so but later when we add here also the node edit form it would also work for there so here we pretty much have the let's say can't and let's output the form this time and let's die afterwards and if we refresh we see the form this time and here we're going to search for our body so in the body we're going to start adding the form body and we're going to add here the states and for states we're going to define an array and in it we're going to say that our body will be visible when something is pretty much met as a requirement or as a state so we're going to say that the input with name equals to the value of the boolean field so it was called with body field with body so we're copying that body so field with body and the value we're going to say value if because it's a checkbox we're going to simply say checked true like so it would be visible so when the with body checkbox is checked then the state of the body would be visible so let's save it and let's comment out the kint or let's just remove it and if we refresh here yeah so we see with body is here and if we click it we see that the body appears and if it's not there the body would not appear and here we're going to pretty much let's go ahead and add something test test whatever and then when we edit that body we're going to see that our logic doesn't work but that's because we simply have to just enable it also for the for my d let's go ahead and enable it also for the edit form so if we clear the cache and for my d yes of course we have to put it outside of the if like so and if we add also the edit form here in our if in array like so and if we now remove kent there we go it also works for the edit form so we just added it for the node add form and for the node edit form so if you like this video please check the links in the description like subscribe and thanks for watching